Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Develop Code Hunt. This time we're going to start with the second half of the 12th sector, uh, namely the 8th task of it after I finished the first 7 in the last 3, I think 3 episodes. So let's see if I can finish the second half at the same time or maybe even a little faster. Okay, so we get in an array of numbers and we're supposed to return one number. What is this number? If I get this kind of an array, I'm supposed to return minus one. If I get this kind of an array, I'm supposed to return zero. Interesting. So apparently there's some computation that is giving us the result from only these numbers in the array. Haven't seen it yet and I'm currently thinking about how to add some cases here so that I can get the, the right solutions or some more uh, get the, the symbolic executor to generate some more test cases for me so maybe I just check the first element in case it's two I return minus one and in case it's 768 I'm well sorry the first element is 768 I'm going to return 0 and let's see what he makes of it I hope that now he generates at least two test cases that start with this number but he did not actually So there's another test case where I'm supposed to return zero, which is this other array here. So for 290, it's minus one, and for 528, I want two test cases that start with the same number but return a different result. I hope that eventually, oh, 290 is one, 290 is one, so here I have to split the cases and say, okay, if numbers one equals 28, then please return minus one if numbers one equals what's the other case 40 then return zero please generate some more test cases for the 290 thingy here yes for 17 it's also supposed to be zero hmm. maybe this is not leading into the right direction maybe i should just say okay in the other case I'm not really sure if this approach is the best way to go because it seems kind of arbitrary right now how I get these test cases generated. Is there a specific number in there for the present of which I have to check? Maybe zero zero is there any common number in here no there's not so it's not just the maybe maybe i see something if i sum up these numbers would be try maybe it's just a a check on the on the sum. Uh, I'm just wild guessing here right now. Sum equals zero for 
uh, in number in numbers sum plus equals number and then say return sum bigger than whatever 500 return 0 else minus 1 while guessing here what happens now hopefully get some test cases generated in fact I would like to return the sum so maybe I can see something more but unfortunately I don't get too many test cases generated in this case Funnily enough, I, ma I, I managed to uh, have at least one case right here. So what else can we do with the summing up here? Don't really see... What have we got here? We have thousand five hundred thirty six as the sum here. This is an even number, so maybe I can. I just recognize that this one here, where there's minus one, is there's an odd number. The same here, there's an odd number. So in this case there's an even number which means I can divide it by 2 1537 divided by 2 is 750 765 768 interesting this is the first number so maybe maybe I have to find those where the first element times 2 is the sum of all of them and in that case return 0 which is actually the index of the first element so let me try that out if the sum equals numbers 0 times 2 return 0 else return minus 1. What happens now? It might be that since this is 0 that I now get a test case with 1 and in this case we have 400, 520, 526, 533, which is 1066, 1066, 533, 577, 580, 91, 599, 700 and uh, 799 801 1001 1066 so okay uh, I got it so I have to return the index of the element the sum up to which like in this case the sum of the first two it, times 2 is equivalent to the sum of them all and if no such element exists then I have to return minus 1. So the sum of these two elements times 2 is equal to the sum of all the elements. Okay, so I calculate the sum of them all and then I have to... This actually result by now is it? No, it's not. 
this is i equals zero i smaller numbers dot length i plus plus and then i have two int prefix sum prefix sum plus equals numbers i and if prefix sum times two equals sum then i return i else i return minus one down here because that's like the default case so let's check if that solves the task and if this somewhat not so pretty solution gives us a decent skill rating waiting for the symbolic execution it solves the first task and this actually gives us the full skill rating it's kind of interesting that kind of and maybe i got the on the on the wrong tracks like i got the feeling for the for the code hunt uh, style of writing code or maybe the skill rating gets much easier on these higher tasks um or these tasks are so complex or so difficult to implement in java that there's no much easier solution out there i'm not really sure what's the case but anyways, I just realized that I got 4,444 tasks at this very point. And I think this is a very good reason to stop this episode now and continue on next time. This is it for today. Thanks a lot for watching. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If not, drop me a comment or send me a message. Let me know what you think. And have a look at my channel and the other things I'm doing. Maybe there's something interesting for you. So this is goodbye for now and hope to see you next time.